If you have just installed a fresh copy of brand new Linux Mint and aren't sure about what to do next, this video will show you things you should do after installing Linux Mint. In this video, I will show you 10 things you should do after installing Linux Mint. These steps include the customizing the system and user interface, installing useful applications and packages, boosting performance, optimizing battery life, and enhancing your overall desktop experience. The best part is you can follow most of these post-installation steps for any version of Mint in future releases. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing to do after installing Linux Mint is to update your system. Open Terminal and enter the following command to retrieve the latest package information from the sources and upgrades all the packages. Linux Mint includes an application called Driver Manager that helps to detect the hardware components such as graphics card, printers, and Wi-Fi adapters and recommends a drivers to install. For instance, it may detect an NVIDIA or AMD GPU and suggest installing the drivers. Once you're done installing them, restart your computer. It's always a great idea to take a snapshot of Mint right after installation. Mint comes with TimeShift pre-installed, it's a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your entire system. These snapshots makes it very easy to restart your system if something goes wrong in the future, saving you from having to reinstall the operating system. When setting up, make sure to backup both the root system and your home directories. Then click Create to take a snapshot of your current system state. This way, you will always have a backup ready to restore whenever your system starts acting weird. Firefox is the default web browser in Mint and it's better to customize it for a good browsing experience. Now let's start by opening settings. Under the startup section, enable the option to open previous windows and tabs. This allows Firefox to restore your last session when you reopen the browser. Next, go to Tab section and enable these two options. It's also recommended to check the option to play DRM controlled content for better media compatibility, especially when streaming content online. You can further customize Firefox by installing extensions and themes to improve both its appearance and functionality. Linux Mint comes with Flatpak pre-installed, which is a distribution-independent app store that allows you to run GUI applications in an isolated environment. It's a great alternative to the Snap Store and helps ensure better compatibility across different Linux distributions. 
you can use the default software manager to install popular GUI applications like VS Code, Chrome, and much more using Flatpak. Now let's install some essential packages and fonts by running this command in the terminal. This command installs commonly used utilities, development tools, media codecs, file system support, and a wide range of professional fonts perfect for daily usage. Linux Mint comes with a plain terminal by default, so let's make it more visually appealing using Omeposh, which allows you to install the shell prompt. Now let's start by right-clicking the terminal and selecting Preferences. Then select your profile and increase the initial terminal size by adjusting the columns and rows. Next, select a font and a font size for better visibility. You can tweak the colors to change the look of the terminal. Once it's done, restart the terminal to see the changes. Now let's customize the bash prompt. Open this link, copy the command, and paste it into the terminal. Then copy this line and add it to your bash RC and execute bash. Next, install a nerd font by running this command and set as the terminal font in Preferences. Now create a JSON file in your home directory and add this line to your bash RC pointing to this JSON file. This file will be used to theme the shell prompt. Next, open Omeposh themes page. Choose a theme you like, copy its JSON configuration, and paste it into the file you created. Then execute bash to apply the changes. And as you can see, the shell prompt now looks much better. Now likewise, you can switch themes anytime by replacing the JSON content and executing the bash. Now to make Bash more productive, you can install Bash Auto Suggestions. Copy this command from this link and run this inside the terminal. Once installed, execute Bash to see it in action. 
Bash will now suggest commands based on your history as you type. Now keep in mind, this step is optional and may feel slightly laggy on some systems, so enable it at your convenience. Modern laptops with high resolution displays often make UI elements appear too small. Fortunately, Mint allows you to fix this issue very easily using fractional scaling. Open System Settings, go to Display, then switch to the Settings tab and enable fractional scaling controls, then return to the Layout tab. There, you will see scaling options. If the default 100% scaling feels too small, even on 1080p display, try adjusting to 125% or any value that feels comfortable. You can also increase the font size by enabling large text in accessibility settings for better readability across the system. Linux Mint makes it very easy to customize the panels to match your workflow. Go to Settings and select Panel. Now from here, you can adjust the panel's visibility, height, and other properties. Next, go to the Applet section to add useful widgets to the panel. For example, you can add a workspace feature by selecting it and clicking the plus button. This allows you to switch between workspaces very easily. You can add and rearrange applets as you like. To reorganize them, right click on the panel and enable Panel Edit Mode, then move the applets to your preferred positions. Additionally, use the theme section to apply light or dark themes and adjust accent colors to customize the look of your desktop. Hot Corners is one of the best features of the Cinnamon desktop, allowing you to assign actions to the four corners of your screen. Open System Settings and select Hot Corners. Then choose a corner and assign an action such as Show All Windows. So when you move your mouse cursor to that corner, the assigned action will trigger automatically. You can configure different actions for top left, bottom left, and bottom right corners to match your workflow. This feature can significantly speed up your workflow by providing quick access to various functions. If you have installed Linux Mint on laptop, the CPU may run in unoptimized state, which will negatively impact battery life. While TLP can extend battery life, it may also disable certain features such as Turbo Boost. This is where Auto CPU Frequency comes handy and replaces TLP for improved battery life and performance.
It actively monitors battery status, CPU usage, and temperatures to optimize power consumption in real time. Before installing it, make sure TLP is uninstalled from your system. Next, open this link and copy this code and paste it into the terminal. After installation, launch the Auto CPU frequency from the app menu and enable it to run as a daemon service. It uses the default profile to balance performance and battery life. For peak performance, enable performance mode and for longer battery life, enable power saving mode. And that's pretty much it. These are the recommended top 10 things you must do after installing Linux Mint. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Rio. I will see you in the next one.